So he's back again and now he's trying to pick a fight and saying that I caused the arguments and that I don't talk to him. When basically I basically told him everything and talked to him for years. Ever since 2014 I've been trying to talk to him. Ended up hurt. Thought he wanted me to sit here and learn that he is able to be trusted. That he actually liked me and cared about me. Now I started getting better and he gave me his ass to kiss. He wants to sit here and talk about our future now and say that he doesn't know anything. And he wants to know if I'm staying in the apartment or if he's staying in the apartment or if I'm moving out with some other guy. Like I'm relying on somebody else. So how many times do I have to sit here and say the same things? You're a demon behind closed doors. You treat me like crap behind closed doors and when nobody's looking. You sit here and add in freaking falsified bullshit to what I actually really did. And I jawed him in the mouth because he was lying and said, I never tried to fix the relationship back in Atrium. But he was sitting around fucking around with casuals from Limburg and lying. When I asked him if he wanted an open relationship, he told me no. So he chose openly to lie in my face because he didn't want me to sit there and possibly, I guess, find somebody that wasn't going to lie. And I don't even look for people. I just look for, you know, people that are actually good in friends, good with friendships, and good with trusting. It seemed like I was only able to trust him when I was weak and when I really actually needed people in my corner. Because the minute that I started becoming better again, that's when I got his ass to kiss. That's when it was arguments. And that's why I don't take any pain medication. Because every time I purchased it, which I told him we shouldn't do because guess what? Insurance don't cover it. And it's not affordable. It's too expensive. It became my fault. Now he's saying, do I want to put the kids in the middle of this? When basically he did this already. When he put the kids in the middle of it by putting our arguments and my personal business in our family group chat, which I asked him not to do, but he chose to do that anyway. Now he's upset because I won't talk to him. Is this how it's going to be? You use money to try to control people and situations. You use verbal abuse which is basically mental abuse. It's not right. And nobody has to go through this. And nobody should be going through this. I won't talk to him today. Because yesterday, I talked to him in the car. And it almost ended up into a damn argument, a fight again. And I'm not about to be drugged down to his level. Because I'm above arguments. And I'm not up with the stress. So he can knock on the door all he wants. But if I know or sense that basically all you're doing is trying to poke and pick. Trying to start something with me. And then blame me for starting arguments with you when I don't even talk to you because I don't like arguments then I will ignore you. I never thought I would have to do something like this to a person that I used to be able to sit here and trust and confide everything in. Because that hurts the most. But of course, he probably just thinks everything is funny. Because he always does. Just like my cats are always pissing everywhere in place, right? But it's only whenever he's around. Eight relationships. 
I've ever had. Eight. Didn't sleep with every last one of them. Because we didn't get that far. Only cheated on two and had to fight two of them. I beat up my ex-husband with a lamp because he trespassed in my personal space and took my personal belongings and locked himself in the bathroom with him and started going through my shit. And then he went and gave him back and started fighting and arguing with me and cursing me out. Not to mention that he already had laid his hands on me multiple times. Not where towards he beat me up, but be, but where it was actually looking like an accident. Except for the time that I went through a goddamn wall. And he slammed my head on a damn light switch. And then this one over here. I jawed him in the mouth back in 2016. Like I said. He wanted to sit here and say I didn't try to fix the relationship. When I was sitting here trying to talk to him about our relationship since before we even moved in together. Into the apartment and out of his mother's house. I was looking for a place on my own. Waiting for our applications to come through. I was at the point where I was about to start living into a hotel room. With my two kids. He said no. I said moving in with him and his mom was not a good idea because she did not like me. He said all would be fine. It was her idea. So I listened to him instead of listening to my intuition and I went. Why? Because, yeah, I found out why with my father and his family. And that's exactly why I was looking for an apartment and why I was willing to live into a hotel room with my two children rather than stay with my father up in Burlington and his family. But since we were supposed to be getting everything close together and coming together, I trust and I learned. But I guess I just wasn't good enough. And I accept that. I wasn't what he wanted. But I asked him, do you want an open relationship? He told me no. So he chose to lie to me. And to still go out and cheat and fuck around with casuals. And then got demoted from his position. But he said it wasn't related. It just so happened to happen around the same time. So, I was still looking for a place of my own, about to move out into a different apartment in my building. I was questioning about the price and if they were open and all this other stuff. So, what happened? I ended up hurt. Couldn't really do it. And I trusted him. And it just seemed like all of a sudden everything was freaking normal and good and fine and he was just the Alex that I remember but what happened once I started getting better I got to see the same person that said I couldn't do better than him because that's what he said out of his mouth to me I got to see the person that thinks of me as being inferior to him. When no one man amongst this earth is better than one another. We're supposed to learn from each other and grow and do better. I guess he got tired of hearing me talk because now he's listening to his phone. But, um, yeah, I called the cops on him February 25th because, again, verbal abuse and stressing me out to the fullest extent. I couldn't take it anymore. 
So I did something that I never done before because I did learn my lesson with my ex-husband because I never called the cops on him. But guess what I got in return? I never got help. I never got help from that situation. Never got child support. Didn't even want it since I had to go back and forth because I said if I have to do that, and really run into him and see him i don't want it but he tried to force me to go in for it so i tried again didn't go through i don't care because i don't have to encounter him i can keep my sanity this one right here you cause the harm you throw the blows and then you want to act like I'm not talking to you when basically I've been trying. I've been talking without getting through. It's like talking to a brick wall. You hear what you want to hear and you do what you're going to do and what you want to do however you want to do it. And you just don't care about anybody but yourself. Like I said, he's a demon behind closed doors. He sits here and it fucks with your mind. It really does. Because it's like, how is it that you can sit here and set good examples and tell the kids, you know, how they should be, how they should treat their mother, but then you treat, turn around and treat their mother like shit when they're not looking. When nobody's looking, I'm treated like shit. And then I look like, like, like I'm the bad guy. Like the recordings I have yesterday, oh my God, you hit me and you were beating me up and you were doing this and you were doing that and it was before you punched me. Um, no, but I did scratch the shit out of you for touching me when I said no. And then you looked at me like I was fucking crazy. That's the only other times that I actually did put my hands on you. And that was scratching as in, I said, no, we are not doing shit because I don't want to. You don't take no for an answer. Then yeah, my nails will dig into your skin and start scratching you. So, what happened? Oh yeah, when I was hurt. Basically, that little death stare that he gets, that he gives you. Basically, it becomes intimidating because you know you can't fucking move away from it. But punching wise... Was he bloody after I jawed him in the mouth right here? No, not in front of me. And I got instant karma because I should have known better not to put my hands on him. Because, see, we were arguing about a situation that had already happened and he didn't trespass and violate me in any type of physical form. So I fucked up back in 2016 and I received my karma instantly and fucked up my hand but all those times when I said no and scratched him and made him hurt from touching me when I said no I didn't receive any karma for that because no is no accept it and stop trying to force yourself among people on two people. It's not right. If you want to help me with the kids. Help me with my children. As you've been doing. But. Don't sit here. And think I'm going to submit to your will. And just be willingly treated like shit. Because you think you can. You got the wrong one. You got the right one. But I don't play around. I don't play around my emotions. I don't play around my mentality. And I don't play around my damn children. I told everybody before. I even get into a relationship. I will leave you before I cheat on you. Two people I tried to leave. And two people swore to their guns that they didn't want it. They didn't want that to happen. 
but yet and still you still step out of line and you still want to play your games and go fucking damn every damn thing not caring where it came from what it was because you were just thinking i gotta go i gotta get it i gotta get it no me like i said um (laughs) i'm picky with my shit so being as though it's only two people yeah i really had to make sure that they were qualifying candidates when i had to sit here and just focus and satisfy my damn needs because they weren't being met and respected where i was But I never been disrespectful, even though people take it as me being disrespectful because I sit here and just basically tell you the truth about shit. I did it before and I do sit here and if I have to out myself just to put you out there, I will. And I have. Even the ex knows that. Like, um whatchamacallit friends of me said how the hell you sit here and tell this man that you were with somebody that was bigger and better than him i was like because i just didn't give a fuck anymore that's how you push me to that point this one i never been disrespectful like that i just said thank you for letting me know how you truly feel and yeah more than likely he was fucking the dude's girlfriend or had some sort of situation with shit with her because i just can't say no whenever she sells stuff but then too when i asked you to help me in my business and selling and making money to support the family my kids you me you told me no and then you started dangling everything that i ever wanted that was so far out of reach that was not feasible to obtain and thought it was freaking I, I'm just going to stop talking to you about what I want then because you think that it's a game and that you know I'm going to sit here and just keep on allowing you to sit here and say "Ooh, look at this I know it's like you know 10,000 or you know $50,000 out of range but um yeah um don't you want this like um it's nice something i would want one day but if we're talking about actually having something that's able to get you know obtained now why would you even sit here and try to discourage me with some shit that is just far out of reach because that's how it felt to me and i explained that but yet and still kept on doing the same thing over and over again until i stopped talking to him about the shit that i wanted and the shit that I wanted to do. Oh well. But now he's like, so this is how it's going to be. You're not going to talk to me. I'd like to know where our future is. I talked to you about our future multiple times before, but you didn't want to hear it. So whoever the hell you were with, I hope you had a good anniversary with them on Valentine's Day. Because I guess since I was having too much fun alone and coming within to myself, that's why you came back and started, you know, doing the whole entire arguing and fighting and mental manipulation and bullshit that you do so well. And then you act like you don't do anything when you go in front of people. If I'm going to do something, I'm going to do it and say it in front of people and when you're not around in front of people i'm gonna say it whether you're there or not and i'm gonna sit here and there's no need to fucking lie all i gotta do is just say the fucking truth that's all i gotta do but yeah and still i'm okay yeah i'm the issue because i tell the truth 
Fuck it. Like I said, if I have to out myself, I out myself just so your shit can be out there too. I don't give a fuck. I've always been that way. So, this is going to be uploaded. Talk to you guys later.